Welcome to Flippin' Trinkets and Treasures. We are two Southern ladies on a journey to find new treasures. Every day is a new adventure and a chance to step into the past and learn about where we come from. To add to our growing collection of pretty things and make a few bucks along the way. This is our passion. It's how we make our living and more important than anything, it's fun. So come along for the ride and we can travel our next adventure together. See you there. Hi everybody. Hey. Welcome to our channel. And for some reason I feel like I need to remind you, we are flipping trinkets and treasures. I never say that anymore. So I just want you to know who we are. So that you'll know where our, our eBay store or what our eBay store is. No, no, no. That's a little different. What our Facebook page is and our Instagram. Uh, same names uh, to go along with our YouTube channel. We, we picked a, our old eBay name and it, it reads as Jeanette's, um, it's Jeanette's Trinkets and Treasures. Mm -hmm. And what it is, is Jeanette's is just a mixture of my, my first and middle name. Um, and people, <laughs> people are like, Jeanette, what's this item? Da, 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 da. And I'm like, my name's actually Jen. But you know, at least you're paying attention to the name of the store. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, we got a little haul video for you today. Um, oh, it's just been a very odd week. Like, and not bad. It's just been odd. Like, we've we haven't had much luck in the stores finding things. Um, we've got, I mean, we've got a little pile here to, to show you guys, but for the most part, we haven't found as much this week as we usually do. Mm -hmm. And our store's been particularly slow. And I think part of this reason is something, I don't know if you've ever dealt with eBay or uh, if you've ever sold anything or bought anything, but eBay has its quirks. And there are times when eBay is a little ridiculous for sellers particularly. And we've gone through this several times throughout the years. When there's a certain point of time, and I, I guess maybe they're trying to get ready for the holidays and the, the busy, um, like, spending season. But every time they try to do updates on things, it completely messes up our store. Um, and it's, they, like I said, they've done this multiple times. But this time, they've, uh, they've got what's called item specifics. And when we're drafting our, our, um, our items... You know, you have to take your pictures, you have a title, you've got um, like a description box where you, you type out all the things that could be wrong with the item. Uh, and we have a disclaimer that we put in there. But then there's like a, uh, a required and an item specific section right above that where you just go through and you click like certain um, check boxes and drop down menus and type in like the type of glass it is. And they've added a bunch of new requirements to that. And when, it, when they do that, it doesn't just affect the ones that you're doing, like the listings that you're doing today, it affects every single item in your you store. Done. So you have to go through and keep in mind, we have almost 900 items in our store. So we have to go in and update every single one of those mm -hmm. items to these item specifics. And I really think that's affected the sales in our store right well, now. Well, and not only that, but when we are, are doing our drafts for our listings, we fill in as much information as possible and looking upon these things now that they're showing us that need to have those item specifics a lot of what we had filled in is now missing mm -hmm. and we also do something where uh, we call what's uh, we do what's called promoted listings and what it is is you set a certain percentage um, and I usually do about five percent that's usually what I do and what it does is it boosts your item in the search engine. When people are searching for that particular item, it boosts you up on the list so that you're like maybe on the first page rather than like the fifth or sixth, you know, on back. Um, and for granted that 5% means I'm actually giving up 5% of the purchasing cost or the final value fees. Um, whenever that item sells, they get 5% of it, which even is included in their final value fees and their listing fees. like eBay makes bank. They really yes, do. They make a lot of money off of their sellers. Granted, to be fair, they are the biggest platform of this nature anywhere. So they actually do provide us with a big, huge service. I mean, and like, and if we were going to do a website, we would have to pay for advertisements and, you know, all kinds of different things that would not even guarantee people would find our website. But in the meantime, you have eBay with, with one search, anybody can find one of our items, you know, relatively easily. 
But anyway, there's just a lot going on with eBay, and we've been kind of a little stressed about it. Um, I mean, not, I mean, not really. We're, it'll get back in order, but it's just it's a little aggravating when we are working so hard to make our store successful, and we're doing everything in our power, anything, everything that they've asked us to do, you know, to make sure that uh, we're following their guidelines and everything. And then they they do something like this, and it's like. Uh, you know, maybe give people some warning before you decide to screw up everything and give us time to figure out how to fix everything, you know, in a timely fashion. As it is, we're just rushing to get through it. Like, it's just, it's taking more time and more work. And, uh, you know, and right now, because those descriptions, I mean, actually, Mom has gone through and done a lot of them. And I, I do them when I do a lot of relisting. Uh, re um, but it's just taking some time. And I feel like the items that don't have those requirements in them yet aren't really searchable right now like because everything that they would search for is in those requirements requirements and they're not there because we didn't know mm -hmm. it was coming and I'm, i don't mean to sound i'm a girl, girl. I'm, <laughs> I'm aggravated Wham. and like i said i do i i i normally don't have much to, to complain about where ebay is concerned mm -hmm. but in this nature it's just like it's, it's just disheartening yeah it's annoying and it's annoying it just is because we try so hard. I mean, you guys have no idea how hard we work to get this business, you know, and keep it going the way we want it to. But anyway, now that I, you know, I just let that out so you guys can be aware of what we're going through. The drama! Um, but no, other than that, it's, it's been a fine week. It's just been a little, little bit more busy than usual. Um, but um, as you guys know, we went to Miss Lucille's on Monday. Was it Monday? Yeah, on Monday. We didn't find it very, very much. We found like three things, which is what we expected, or, or you know, actually we were pleased to find three. Um, and we weren't but, expecting to find yeah, anything. Not at all. Um, but we did go to the Goodwill stores after that. We only went to the one because by the time we got to that that first Goodwill, we were so tired. I didn't have to drive, drive all the way across town to the other Goodwill, which we'll, we'll go there at some other point, you know, because that's a good good. Uh, it's a good Goodwill too. Um, I just didn't want to do all that driving, and we still had other things to do at the house, so. And it was everybody getting off work mm -hmm. time it was getting like heavy traffic and i have nothing against clarksville but i hate driving there like the the traffic there is ridiculous and there's crazy drivers very aggressive drivers. yeah so i'm always a nervous wreck when i'm there but uh anyway let's just get through it and see what we found let me see this room oh well what else was it mm, okay we'll do that first hold on Shoot. Hold on. Let me get structured here. Okay. Let me actually move this up and head to this box okay. so you can just. Right there. Hold on. Sorry. 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 Should have had this done before. I just didn't think about it. Okay. All right. Here we go. There we go. All that for an empty box. Right. <laughs> okay, so while we're at Mr. Seals, first off, um, this, this little dog right here. We saw him the last time we were at Miss Lucille's and um, I had, I, we'd watched it back and I was like, why didn't I buy that? I should just bought him. He was so $5 and he was so cute. He was sitting there all, all by himself. And in the meantime, months later, when we went on Monday, he was still sitting there all alone and like, like nobody wanted him. So I was like, oh, we have to get him. So he came home with us. He doesn't look any happier, but I think he looks wonderful. Uh, he's adorable, but he doesn't look very happy. I don't know. What took you so he's cute. long? You left me here. Well, he's home now. And he has this faux fur. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's a little rough and a little scratchy, but it just makes it look real. A lot more realistic, yeah. Super cute. I love him. Um, and then, I'm guessing, honestly, I'm guessing that these came from the same person, but they had two different booths. Because we were in one of the booths that I love, and we found this. It's called a half sphere bowl, and which makes sense because technically speaking, okay, we actually got, we had twinsies. So it makes a whole sphere. sphere. 
half sphere. Anyways, but they're twinsies. Paid six ninety nine a piece for them, and they actually, um, like I said, they were in two different booths and different sections of the store. Um, but like I said, I, th I figured they were probably from the same person because they were the same price and everything, the same look. But they've got like this orange swirl. You can't really see it that well in the lighting, but it's orange or amber. And the center is uh, complete con concave. Well, mm -hmm. it's, there's a hole here in the middle, and of course they've got a clear and polished base. Very smooth. For six ninety nine, you know, at the very least, we can double our money on these. At the very least, but they're very pretty. Um, and anything art glass, you know, I'm a fan of, and I will grab, especially, especially when it's a good price. Yes. And especially when those bottoms mm -hmm. are polished, clear, and smooth. That's that's the sound of good. Uh, Mm -hmm. A sign of good there are there are little bubbles in there, but yeah. I don't think that's a big deal. Of good artistry, mm -hmm. that was what I was trying to say. Yeah, well, it's the fact that they took the time mm -hmm. to polish them down and make them look nice. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of glassmakers. There's nothing wrong with it, how they do things. That's just everybody. Every, all these glassmakers have their own way of doing things. But um, certain glassmakers, for example, Mur Murano, they always take the time to polish and perfect. Um, because that's take pride that, in the that bottom section is actually where it like they have these big, huge, these big, big, huge tubes that they um, blow their glass with, and that's where the pontal goes that's the end of the, the glass. And though that's how they, you know, so it doesn't have a pontal mark, it's just smooth, but anyway. Um, of course, we went to the Goodwill, and I mean, we didn't have you know outstanding, you know, fines. <clears throat> But we found some interesting things. Um, one of the things we found was this. Now it's an odd shape. It kind of looks like a like a bunt pan, you know, with a, the center hold. But they call it, from what I was researching, and I could be wrong, but everything I saw was saying it was a blunt vase. So I'm guessing they were actually they had actually put flowers in this hole here. Um, but this is a handmade piece of pottery, and it's got a a somewhat signature on the back. I want to say it's like J-A-T maybe. Or it's, it's either T-A-T or J-A-T. <coughs> maybe it's C. Because that mark right there. It just mm. didn't connect. Um, I don't know. Anyway, this is a handmade piece of pottery. And of course it's bent here from where, you know, that's that's kind of how they, they molded it. I'm not sure why they it's did a great, that. And it's got a great design. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't know why they did that. But it makes it an interesting piece. Um, See, I think you could also put a taper candle mm -hmm. in there. Maybe. Yeah. And maybe. that would be a neat, a neat way to to pack it. <coughs> anyway, you can use it for for whatever you know. Pretty much, and that's why desires. That's why a lot of this stuff is like even with the art glass bowls. Most of the times they're labeled as cigarette ashtrays. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't think so. Mm -mm. Okay, and then another don't thing goes too back there. There's three. Oh. All right, and another thing we found was this. Now this is a piece of wood, like literally. It's like someone sawed off a log, and they. Uh, I'm. 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 That's not some sort of candle. Or that's something. what I. That's, that's, that's what. That's what. I drafted it. But it's got like a wood spirit. Mm -hmm. I think it's how they label, labeled it in the side, and it's a very detailed face. Someone literally it's just actually worth a little bit of money. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. A lot of the stuff that is handmade, handcrafted, hand carved. If anybody has put any kind of effort into making something, it's usually more value than something that was mass produced. Obviously, you know. And this is one of those things that someone took the time to do it. And that it's of course it is hand carved, but it is so detailed. Yeah. I love um, it. Because there's no like maker's mark or anything on it, but. Grace, get off the counter. Sorry. Sorry. Our dogs really aren't that get bad. But sometimes they, yeah. Anyway. Um, then we found this. And this is just, I would say it's a cup. Except there's a hole in the bottom of it. <laughs> no, thank you. And so, which was tells me it's probably just a, like a, a pen holder or something where they put something in it, you know. And even again, you could use one of the pillars candles maybe but it would there. go awfully low down there but yeah, yeah. maybe um, but it is marked 
It's made in Mexico, and that particular, the guy that made it, and I can't pr pronounce it, uh, oh, it's Armando. Okay, yeah, Armando something from Mexico. He has several pieces that I saw on Evil, and they were priced very, did I say eBay? Mm -hmm. I thought it said Evil or something, that's something weird. But well, whatever I said, eBay, and they were priced very well. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, of course, you know how we like our Mexican pieces, um, but... It's just interesting. And this one's more like, it's less about the... No, that's, that's carved too, isn't it? Yeah. I was going to say, it's less about the painting and more about the carving in the side. And now, it is pottery. Like, it's not wood or anything, but it's like uh, etched into mm -hmm. the side. Which I find interesting. All right. And then we found... Now, I think this is probably a more modern piece because of the way it's made. I think it's maybe resin. I can't tell what it is. It's not ceramic, that's for sure. Anyway, it's an elephant. A white elephant. With a trunk up. What that means, good luck. But I liked it. And it's got felt on the bottom. And usually when they when they do that, it's because they don't want to scratch anything up. So maybe, I'm not sure. And Jennifer, show them how, how it kind of looks dirty. It's got some darkness, like brown. That's why I think it's a little bit more aged. I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned on this and it does not come off. So it's part Maybe it's I'm, part of the of the glaze that's on it. Yeah, I mean it, it may not be aged, it may be how they just how they made it. Like because sometimes you can do that with glazings. Either way it's really cute. And it's in great shape. Mm -hmm. Great condition. Okay, and another thing we found, this is a hum, a Humco, Humco, uh, Cocker Spaniel with their puppies. It was one of like $1.99 or something like that, but it, it has a really neat bottom, very clear sticker, um, and of course that's the usual mark for Humco. It's this weird, like, triangle thing. Yeah, that's a very common Humco marking. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I mean, what's $1.99? Ooh, okay, it's $3.99. Well, that's okay anyway. But anyway, I thought it was cute. I have a very, I have a weakness for dogs and cute figure, figurines, so I picked it up. Even if it was $4, that's okay. It's beautiful. <coughs> <coughs> okay, and this is another pickup. I don't have any markings on it or anything, and it's probably actually modern because I think it's got a sticker on the bottom from like maybe Kirkland's or something like that but it's really pretty it's a picture and it's like a I don't know a yellowish green with a light green mm -hmm. or bluish top and I liked it you know and there are always buyers for these kind of things like you'd be surprised how often we saw stuff like this but to the right buyer I'm gonna pause this for just a second Okay, sorry about that. Brief, dist brief distraction. Okay, so next, we have a glass face. Anchor hawking. Oh. Okay, it's an anchor hawking base. And I, I don't think you can see it, but there's a little bit of a etching right here that gives it its title. Um, it's very um, vertical, vertical lines. And it's got like a um, scalloped edge. It's got a good weight on it too. It does. It's pretty heavy. It's a heavy duty vase. It's probably um, it's probably a florist piece. And we just have a few more things. And one of the things we found I thought was interesting. You know, I peeled three of those off there. Anyway, this is an it's it's um how do they title it? I know it's Everlast, but it's for Grace, leave her alone. Grace Ann. Grace. <sighs> Sorry, our children. Anyway, now this is an aluminum um serving dish. Uh it's on the outside. It also has an interior glass dish. Um 
So I'm, I'm, it would have to be a serving dish. But anyway, it's forged aluminum on the outside. And it's got all this interesting, like how someone can mold aluminum like that with all the floral design here. And of course the side has this, uh, uh, what's the word? Optic type design. Yeah. Um, I thought it was interesting. I'd never seen anything like it. Now I haven't. Think it's a food warmer? Maybe. Probably. I would say so, because it's mm -hmm. probably something you would put on maybe a, not a Bronson burner. Uh, those burners, a hot plate, what I did. Got to take care of your mother. Yeah, something like that. But anyway, it would be a, probably a food warmer. But I've never seen anything um, like that in the store. I that was neat. And I haven't researched it or anything, so I don't know what it's, what it's worth exactly, but it should be okay, considering mm -hmm. we didn't pay a whole lot for it. You're going to have to forgive me. I have a toothache right now, so like... Oh, I'm trying to not, like, ugh, hurt. Anyway, mom found this. It's an... It's an earthenware. Yeah. Anyway, it's an earthenware teapot. It's still in the box, and it's a snowman. And you know that Christmas time is right around the corner, so this kind of stuff is going to be selling like crazy. Um, it's, it's close. It's taped. I wouldn't tear that. It's just, I would, I would just go yeah. in the box, Mama. All right. Maybe we'll open it later in a more controlled, a more controlled environment where we don't have to tape the, or we don't have to tear what the. Is, what does that say? An earthenware stone, 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 stone teapot. Okay. And then yesterday, oh, wait, no. How did, oh, oh, I see. Now, originally, I mean, it, it is a jewelry box. And it's a Thomas Kincaid. Or trinket box. What did I say? Jewelry. Well, yeah. Either way. Um, but it's Thomas Kincaid, and it's got all these paintings on the sides, all the way around, even on the lid. Trimmed in gold. Oh, shoot. I oh. mean... What does that say? It's probably says I don't Thomas have my Kincaid. glasses. Faith is the substance of all things hoped for. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Anyway, I'll hold that for a second, please. So not only is it a jewelry box tricky dish, it's also a musical box. And it plays. One of my all-time favorite songs. It's You'll Never Walk Alone. Oh, it's I think it's from Carousel. Anyway, that has that song has such sentimental value to me. I, I love it. But it's so sweet. Anyway. It plays music. And it works. And we're actually almost done. Um, and this time, when we were when we were going around the Goodwill store, we were just like desperate to find things because we were we had no inventory. We needed to, you know, um, because we like, you know, like we've said in times past, we like to post five brand new things every day. And uh, anyway, we just went through our inventory like crazy. Yeah. Um. But well, as we were going around the Clarksville Goodwill store, like looking for stuff, I came across three boxes, and they're Libby glass, new in box. I think I paid like four ninety nine for two of them and like seven ninety nine for the other. But these go for twenty five to thirty five, maybe even forty dollars. Uh, specifically, that one of the ones that's coming, I found a, a parfait or not parfait, uh, a trifle bowl. And that one's worth the most money, but. These are actually dessert bowls, and they're the Celine style. And these, I think, actually go really well with the um, the trifle bowl. They they're the same shape, but just in miniature size. But anyway, I expect to get twenty five to thirty dollars for this uh, um, brand new in the box. And then we found now this is a cupcake set, which is interesting, and it's glass bowls with plastic lids. And there, I think there's 12 bowls and 12 lids. Mm -hmm. So again, with the, uh, I expect probably 20 to 25 for this one. But to find these things brand new in the box on the shelf in the Goodwill store, I mean, you can you can actually charge. You know, a lot of times when we buy our things, they're all used. Mm -hmm. They've all been pre-owned by other people, and yeah, these are pre-owned, but they've never been used. So like, you're we are allowed to actually charge a little more for them because. 
Yeah. Nobody's used them before. So and they're, they're still, practically new. I mean, they are original new. box. Let's go lay down. It's just an open box. That's all. Go down. And then finally, this is the trifold dish. It's big. <laughs> it's only one piece, but okay, in box. Um, this one will probably go to thirty-five to forty dollars. Um, and at least that's what I'm gonna listen for. And I might take an offer, you never know, but that's what I'm shooting for, thirty-five to forty dollars for this one. Um, but you know, when you can find something like these things like this, no, I mean these may be a little bit more modern than they're probably not vintage at least, but um but the fact that they're new and in the box, I think an exception can be made. You know, because they're worth, you know, more of a, a modern price. Mm -hmm. um, but it was, I was super excited to find brand new things, you know, and especially in our wheelhouse, the glassware. So I was happy with that. And this gives us a few days, you know, to come up with some more, some more stuff. And we're really hoping, we're really hoping to go to the Springfield Antique Barn. It just hasn't worked out so far. Like, we're, um, there's a lot that goes into the business that we're in. Mm -hmm. A lot. And... I would say a good, you guys probably see 25% of what we do. You, I mean, it, I mean, maybe a little more than that, but for the most part, everything that we do is behind the scenes. And it's so much work. Um, and especially when it's just the two of us, you know? And, and that's nothing I'm complaining. This, you could not run a business like this by yourself. No, this is not a one person, person job. It is at least a two person At job. least, and at some point it's going to have to be more. Like, mm -hmm. it's just like this weekend, we had a huge weekend of sales. And like, no lie, mom and I worked on shipping so much on Sunday that we were exhausted for two days after. Like, I mean, it was, we were exhausted. Uh, and these weren't, I mean, some, um, a lot of stuff that we were, we sold this week weren't, wasn't little. It was big things that you had to like pack and, oh, oh yes. There's just so much to it. Um, and that's not to say that we don't love this job. I mean, we, we love it. It's, 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 for the most part, it's fun. It's just, you know, it could also be a job. A job. Uh. And it seems like it's just like anything else. It's either feast or famine. It's either all or none. Just like we got everything sold or if everything, you know, over the weekend. And now it's slowed back down. And it's, it's mm -hmm. almost non-existent. And then we'll come to the weekend and it'll probably hit again. But I feel like this is probably the slowest week we've had in a long time. And I can't help but correlate that with the eBay changes. Like, because that's the only thing that's different. That's, that's yes, it's rocking the boat. Mm-hmm. Because we're doing the same thing that we've always done. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll and see they say as far as doing your listings, they say you have to, no matter how many you're going to list a day, you have to do it consistently. Every day. If you're going to get in that algorithm, and but you've got to do it every single day, mm -hmm. and we've not missed a day. Mm -mm, never. Honestly, I don't even remember. It's been months and months and months and months and months since I've missed anything. But anyway, um, that's just not, just another brief glimpse into what we're going through. You know, like we said in the last video, we want to be completely transparent with you guys mm -hmm. and. This entire journey is a learning experience for everyone involved, you know, so you're going to hear the good and the bad. That's just the reality of, you know, really starting a business and trying to see through it, you know, mm -hmm. see it through. <sighs> but anyway, I'm tired and I kind of want to chill for a little bit. And I think we're out. I'll probably have a sold video, guys, up. Uh, a sold video, guys. A sold video for you guys <laughs> on Saturday. Um, I'm not sure which... Uh, shopping trip I'll, I'll, I'll do that for but we'll see what I've got I have to go through and look but anyway there'll be a slow video on, on Saturday and then come Tuesday we'll put we should have some sort of a shopping video um, coming up so and I, we haven't even gone anywhere yet so and wish us luck help, help us uh, you know find somewhere to go to Springfield that's where I want to go so bad that's the one place I really want to go um, we'll, we'll figure it out but anyway we will see you guys next time oh pause as always, we also have um, our eBay store, our Instagram, and our Facebook in the description below. Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe and ding that notification button. It'll let you know when our videos drop and uh, you can come see us again. And share. And share, please. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. Bye. Thanks for watching. 
And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button or that little bell in the corner that gives you notifications of when we post our videos. Have a great day.